Hello everyone, welcome to Yadna Investment Academy. In our last video, we talked in detail about Unified Payment Interface, the UPI, a round-the-clock fund transfer service launched by RBI Governor. We now know UPI is the most sophisticated public payment infrastructure in the world and is set to become an efficient alternative to mobile wallets and make cashless payments faster, easier, for millions of people in India. So today we will discuss how UPI actually works. We will first understand how to get started with UPI with the chart given by NPCI on the process of starting with UPI. Trust us the actual process is even simpler than depicted here and overall process will not even take a minute before you can start transacting. Here we have taken the scenario where we have downloaded the app of bank x whereas our account is in bank y first you need to download any bank's upi app irrespective you have an account or not from google play store it is not available on apple app store and will take at least six months to list there once the app gets installed it automatically registers your phone by sending an otp and the next step is you have to create your password for app. So this password will be required every time you open the app. One important thing to note here is that phone number on which you have installed this app should be same registered with your personal bank account as well. Next step is to create your new virtual address which will be like your new identity on UPI and this address will be unique to you and should be shared with all the folks who wants to transfer money to you it will be in this format so if you have downloaded suppose access banks app then your unique id will be yadnya whatever name this you want to have you can have at the rate access process of creating your virtual address is very simple all you have to do is find where you can add your bank account which will then open a screen with a drop down menu of all the bank names once you select the bank name where you have the account which is bank y here the app using your mobile will detect your account and ask you to create an virtual address next step is to set an m pin which is a mobile pin it is a second level authentication in this upi app Many of you may already have a mobile pin if you have been using a mobile banking. If not, then you will have to initiate a send money transaction and then it will prompt you to set up the new M pin. Always remember your M pin and never share your M pin with anyone. So now you are all set to start transacting using UPI. Now what happens and how the process is different if we use our own bank's app where we have an account so actually the process is simpler two steps gets reduced one is your app login password now you can use your own m pin as your app login password as well so you don't have to remember two passwords second is you don't have to add your bank account as it will automatically get added based on your registered mobile number now we will discuss about how to transact using UPI and we will start with how to send money. Click on the send money tab on your UPI app and then enter the virtual ID of the Mr. B. Mr. B is the person whom you want to send money to. Enter the amount you want to send. Submit. The app will take you to NPCI page where you have to enter your M pin and all done amount will be transferred immediately to Mr. B. We will discuss about how to receive money using UPI. You need to click on receive or collect money tab on your app. Enter the virtual ID of Mr. C, the person whom you want to receive money from. Enter the amount you want to receive. You can set a request validity time. So you can see that, okay, this request is valid for 24 hours, 48 hours or till this date. A validation message will go to Mr. C immediately. 
Mr. C has to validate it and enter his M pin and the transaction is done and you will receive the money immediately. Now let's discuss about few points to note on UPI working. So UPI app will allow you to see your account history. All the transaction can be seen in the app itself. You can see your bank account balance all the time and in real time. You can register as many bank accounts as you have. So if you have three different bank accounts, you can register all of them in one app and you can toggle between them for sending or receiving money. Each account will have its own virtual address. Apps also has dispute and complaint section where if there is any problem with the app or any problem with the transaction, you can file a complaint on that. Currently many apps and eventually all the apps will allow transaction through QR code and unique payment links. It means if you go for a shopping and wants to pay through your UPI app, the merchant can create a dynamic QR code by asking your virtual ID which you can scan on your UPI app and enter M pin and the transaction can be done immediately. Similarly, if you are doing an online e-commerce transaction, you can select the UPI option and e-commerce website will create a unique payment link which will take you to your UPI app where you just have to enter your M pin and your transaction will be done immediately. There are also discussion of Aadhaar based transaction coming to UPI as well. It will even eliminate the need of entering the M pin. What you just need is a Aadhaar based biometric phone. So we have come to the end of our video. This is all about how UPI works. If you have any question, please do write in the comment section below. And also let us know the suggestions for upcoming videos. Have an awesome time ahead.